Hello friends, this is the second part of the lecture. In the first part, we dealt with the basics of nuclear technology. Let us now focus on the nuclear minerals and India, the position in India. So let's begin with uranium, thorium and morazite. We need to know what are these and what is their distribution, what is their function and what are their ores, which is one of the most important things. So uranium is a naturally occurring radioactive element with the atomic number 92. It is a dense silvery white metal and is primarily used as a fuel in nuclear power plants for generating electricity. The type of nuclear reaction it participates in is nuclear fission. All right. So uranium 235, please remember this 235 also is the most common fissile isotope of uranium and is used in nuclear reactors for sustaining a chain reaction. The most common uranium ore is known as uranium oxide. Please remember oxide, not dioxide or pitch blend. Please remember this term as well, P-I-T-C-H, pitch blend, which is a complex mineral primarily composed of uranium dioxide along with other elements like oxygen and various impurities. Please again remember this pitch blend. Okay, it under undergoes radioactive decay, emitting alpha particles, beta particles and gamma radiation. This is the most important thing. The largest reserves of uranium in the world are found in countries like Australia, Kazakhstan, Canada and Niger. So its distribution you can see. Let's make a simple world map here. So it is spread in Australia, Kazakhstan, Niger and Canada. You can say here or Alright, so rather irregularly distributed. Okay. So in India, the deposits are found in regions such as Jharkhand, Andhra Pradesh, Meghalaya, Rajasthan and Karnataka. So Jharkhand, Andhra Pradesh, Meghalaya, Rajasthan and Karnataka. Okay, you can always make a map whenever you are writing the answers. Let's talk about thorium, which was in prelims 2022. So it's also a naturally occurring radioactive element with the atomic number 90. It's a soft silver white metal and is more abundant in Earth's crust compared to uranium. Thorium is not a fissile material itself but can be converted into a fissile isotope uranium-233 through a process called nuclear transmutation. Please remember this fact that thorium is not a fissile material itself. It needs transmutation in order to be used in the nuclear fission reactions. It is an attractive alternative to uranium as a nuclear fuel due to its abundance and potential for use in advanced nuclear reactors. India has significant thorium reserves and is estimated to have the largest thorium deposits in the world. Please remember this fact as well. Thorium rich minerals such as monazite are found in the beach sands along the coastal regions of Kerala, Tamil Nadu and Odisha and directly came as a question in prelims 2022. Okay. Let's talk about monazite now. It's a rare earth phosphate mineral that contains thorium, uranium and other rare earth elements. It has reddish brown color and is commonly found in the beach sands along the coastal areas. Monazite deposits are rich sources of thorium. One statement is this, very important, and are found in countries like India, Brazil, Australia and United States. In India, monazite minerals are found in the coastal regions of Kerala, Tamil Nadu. We have already seen this. The extraction and processing of monazite are regulated by government entities due to the presence of radioactive elements like thorium and uranium. This also came as second statement in the question. Okay, let us see the uranium occurrences in India in the map. So this is the Aravali region in the Rajasthan. A little of it is found in Madhya Pradesh as well. This is Jajawal, Son Valley. Son Valley we saw in the last uh, question when we dealt with Damar Kantak Hills. So, Markanta Kilsa are located here only. Please remember. Please deal all these subjects integrated way. Such as whenever we read in geography. So, we must also know that what reason are we talking about. Alright. Okay. So, these are the Kadapa Basin in the Andhra Pradesh. We saw many hills here. We just saw the Sheshachalam hills here. Okay. Gogi, Vakunji, these are small ones. And in Meghalaya, like here, Shillong Basin and Domitiat Valkyo. Okay, so this is a basic deposition of the uranium. India has uranium reserves, but not as abundant as thorium. Let's talk about the thorium deposits. So it's found in the monazite sand, as we have already seen. 
in the coastal areas of the eastern ghats odisha andhra pradesh tamil nadu this region not the western region please remember all right so toward the coromandel coast not toward the malabar coast okay this is a uh, jharkhand as well so here it's also found you may remember from here the distribution of uh, aluminum we saw here the copper we saw here in this region the iron we saw here in this region and the titanium we saw in this region so this was also question prelims 2023 okay let's now come to what is uranium enrichment that makes the second statement of our present question enrichment so we are making something rich these two terms are not of much use that means whatever we have we are increasing the percentage of uranium in this uranium let's say is 1% or whatever we are making it 2% 3% or further so the question asks us about 60% is it used for electricity or not yes no so let's see so uranium enrichment as a process that increases the concentration of uranium 235 in naturally occurring uranium to make it suitable for use as a fuel in nuclear reactors so let us see about this just a second okay so the enrichment process involves increasing the proportion of uranium 235 in the uranium fuel from its natural abundance of about 0.7% so please remember naturally abundant uranium is almost 0.7% to maximum of 1% the most common method of enrichment is through a technology called gas centrifuge so we have already read about two three technologies in this lecture one was transmutation second is this gas centrifuge so please remember all these terms as well mining and milling so uranium ore is mined and processed to extract uranium the ore is typically crushed ground chemically treated to produce uranium concentrate also known as yellow cake please remember two terms we have already seen pitch blend this was the ore of uranium then yellow cake so this question can directly come let's say next year that these two terms pitch blend and yellow cake are associated with what pitch blend and yellow cake they are they are associated with they, it can come like coal uranium thorium or any other specific substance okay so please i hope you can uh, do this correctly now so the yellow cake is further processed to convert it into more suitable form such as uranium hexafluoride uranium hexafluoride a compound used in enrichment process now what is enrichment finally the uf6 is fed into a series of gas centrifuges this centrifuge spin at high speed separating the isotope of uranium based on their slight differences in mass the lighter uh, isotopes tend to concentrate toward the center while the heavier isotope move toward the outer edge multiple enrichment stages so these are basically the same thing happening over and over again so the cascade configuration allows for significant increase in the u235 contents so gas centrifuge it is based on the differential mass of the isotopes isotopes have same number of protons that means they are same element but different number of neutrons okay and we need uranium 235 for our reaction please remember this also so that it can release three neutrons and break into krypton and barium all right so fuel fabrication the enrichment enriched uranium now with the higher concentration of u235 in converted back into a suitable form for use as fuel so let us see what uh, uh, it is uh, basically processed into ceramic pellets like this and they form the control rods later sorry fuel rods they are encased into the metal casing this is not important for us to know okay then this uranium fuel with its higher 235 content can sustain a nuclear chain reaction in a controlled manner so <coughs> we have already seen the process here now the important portion and the answer of our question so electricity production the most light water reactors uranium enrichment level is typically 3 to 5% not 60% all right 60% is weapon grade above 20% anything is weapon grade okay 90% is also weapon grade of course basically just remember 3 to 5% is electricity grade naturally is 0.7% and anything more than 20% is 
वेपन ग्रेड रिमेंबर दिस प्लीज एंड प्लीज दिस केम एज ए स्टेटमेंट ऑलरेडी ओके सो इन इंडिया वॉट हैपन्स द मेजोरिटी ऑफ इलेक्ट्रिसिटी इज प्रोड्यूस्ड बाय कोल फायर थर्मल पावर प्लांट्स विच प्रोवाइड अबाउट फिफ्टी एट परसेंट ऑफ द टोटल इलेक्ट्रिसिटी अप्रॉक्सीमेटली ओनली थ्री पॉइंट वन फाइव परसेंट ऑफ द नेशन इलेक्ट्रिसिटी वॉज जनरेटेड यूजिंग द न्यूक्लियर एनर्जी न्यूक्लियर एनर्जी इज द फिफ्थ लार्जेस्ट सोर्स ऑफ इलेक्ट्रिसिटी इन इंडिया बट ओनली इज कंस्टिट्यूटिंग थ्री टू फाइव परसेंट बट इंडिया इज रिडली डेवलपिंग इट्स रिसोर्सेज इंडिया हैज ओवर ट्वेंटी टू न्यूक्लियर रिएक्टर्स इन सेवर पावर प्लांट्स अक्रॉस द कंट्री विच प्रोड्यूस सिक्स थाउजेंड सेवन हंड्रेड एट्टी मेगा वॉट सिक्स की वॉट ऑफ न्यूक्लियर पावर इन एडिशन वन रिएक्टर करपारकर एटोमिक पावर प्रोजेक्ट के पी पी थ्री हैज ऑल्सो बीन कनेक्टेड टू द ग्रेड इन जनवरी ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी वन एटीन रिएक्टर्स आर प्रेशराइज हैवी वाटर रिएक्टर्स वॉट इज हैवी वाटर रिएक्टर डी टू ओ ड्यूट्रियम एंड फोर आर लाइट वाटर रिएक्टर्स दिस इज द लाइट आइस लाइट आइस ऑटो ऑफ द हाइड्रोजन लेट एस सी वाई आर सम मैपिंग दैट हाफ ऑफ इंडिया पावर जनरेशन कैपेसिटी इज रन बाय द प्राइवेट सेक्टर दिस इज द वन मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट थिंग ओके सो सेंट्रल सेक्टर इज ट्वेंटी फोर पॉइंट सिक्स परसेंट स्टेट सेक्टर ट्वेंटी सिक्स पॉइंट टू परसेंट प्राइवेट सेक्टर फोर्टी नाइन परसेंट ओके लेट एस कम ऑल्सो हेयर दिस डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन इज इन करेक्ट इन करेक्टली डिस्प्लेड एक्चुअली इट शोज थर्टी थ्री परसेंट एट ओ फिफ्टी परसेंट इज शोन हेयर ओके लेट्स नॉट फोकस ऑन द डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन जस्ट रिमेंबर दिस फैक्ट ऑलमोस्ट सिक्सटी परसेंट ऑफ इंडिया इंस्टॉल्ड कैपेसिटी रन ऑन फॉसिल फ्यूल मेनली कोल सो दिस इज अ ट्रू रिप्रेजेंटेशन फॉसिल फ्यूल शोज अराउंड सिक्सटी परसेंट ऑफ इंडिया इलेक्ट्रिसिटी जनरेशन द न्यूक्लियर इज ऑनली थ्री परसेंट और वन पॉइंट सेवन टू परसेंट एज ऑफ एंड ऑफ ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी टू ऑल इट जस्ट अ सेकेंड सो वॉट इज द सोल्यूशन ऑफ द क्वेश्चन लेट एस सी सो फर्स्ट स्टेटमेंट वॉज इंडिया despite having uranium reserves so india has uranium reserves this is correct but uh, the electricity uh, is generated by coal more than 50% this is also correct so first statement is correct okay uranium n is to 60% is required for electricity production this statement is incorrect so this will uh, give us answer let us see so as per the question answer will be c where statement 1 is correct statement 2 is incorrect so answer for this question will be c let us also see the ncert perspective here that where this question came from in ncert has it been mentioned so it has been mentioned here i'll just uh, highlight that nuclear energy has emerged as a viable source uranium deposits occur in the dharwar rocks geographically uranium ores are known to occur in several locations along the singhbhoom copper belt it is also found in odaipur alwar and jhunjhunu districts of rajasthan durg district of chatisgarh bhandara district of maharashtra and kullu district of himachal pradesh this is a very important paragraph must be noted in the notes uh, verbatim thorium is mainly obtained from the monazite and ilmenite in the beach sand ilmenite is also uh, an ore for the titanium please remember this as well already came as question along the coast of kerala and tamil nadu came as a question in 2022 world's richest monazite deposits occur in palakkad and kollam district of kerala very important near visakhapatnam in andhra pradesh and mahanadi river delta in odisha so this came as a question this it is talking about this side kerala andhra pradesh all right atomic energy commission established in 1948 this is not important for us as it has not yet been asked can be asked in the future okay let's uh, now come to the 2022 question which was asked so let's solve this very quickly so with reference to india consider the following statement monazite is a source of rare earths true monazite contains thorium true monazite occurs naturally in the entire indian coastal sands in india wrong in india government bodies only can process or export monazite true so which statement given are correct so 1 3 and 1 uh, 2 and 4 okay so this was the prelims 2022 question already solved this let us uh, come to this question now so in india why are some nuclear reactors kept under the iaea safeguards so ia international agency for atomic energy or international atomic energy agency so the option says some use uranium and other use thorium so some use uranium and other use thorium so let's say india is a uh, india is having its own uranium reserves thorium reserves also and india is processing them domestically so iaea does not have any problem 
some use imported uranium and other use domestic supplies so this can be a problem here if we are using imported uranium then iaea may have to play a role some are operated by foreign enterprises some are operated by domestic enterprises so domestic all because government regulated some are state owned and others are privately owned so some are state owned some are uh, privately owned so privately owned uh, do not exist as of now there have been proposals so what is the answer here that some use imported uranium and other use domestic supplies so answer b is correct for this question let's move forward to the third question that india is an important member of international thermonuclear experiment reactor so thermo nuclear experimental reactor so if this experiment succeeds what shall be the immediate advantage for india it's talking about the immediate advantage all right so let us first see what is this uh, itar we have already mentioned this in the previous lecture in this series so let's see about this so as i already told you in the previous lecture that fusion reactions are something which are hard to obtain for us because fusion reactions include high temperature and high pressure that naturally takes place only in the core of stars all right what we are trying to do it on earth and i also mentioned that china is advancing in this field so some of the china's uh, well wishers let's say usa the itr members itr members are how many china european union india japan korea russia and usa so these countries are trying to make itr or basically making trying to make the fusion reactions possible on earth so the answer from here this question will be which one that it can use thorium in places of uranium no this is not the answer it can attain a global role in satellite navigation no not related it can drastically improve the efficiency of its fission reactions no it can build fusion reactors yes so the answer will be this fourth option all right let's come to the next one so which of the following can be found as pollutant in the drinking water in some parts of india arsenic yes sorbitol what is sorbitol sugar alternative fluoride yes fluoride is also found in some places especially in the rajasthan it is a big problem near nagor all right formaldehyde and uranium so let us see about the uranium in fact let's talk about them one by one because uh, you should also know so arsenic let's talk about the arsenic so arsenic reaches ground water through seepage of industrial and mines discharge it causes black foot disease very famous disease it was once famous in the regions of bangladesh so arsenic pollution it's known as and it can cause diarrhea lung and skin cancer when we talk about the fluoride sorbitol is not found sorbitol is just uh, alternative to the sugar and it's minimally used in some cases and it's a form of alcohol also alcohol compound so not found let's come to fluoride so fluoride uh, uh, is put in the water in order to clean it so minimal is requirement minimal is recommended actually along with the chlorine also so fluoride is found in drinking water in some places it can cause knockney syndrome fluorosis fluorosis is a brittling of the bones especially it uh, makes the teeth yellow and it can make a person bend because of the brittling of the bones so person starts look like this they need a stick to walk so this is known as the kubat disease in rajasthan and india some regions okay when you talk about the formaldehyde it is a preservant it's used in the laboratories etc to preserve various things so this is not found as a pollutant uranium let's say that uh, if the uranium is uh, locally concentrated in some places wherever it is found whether it's rajasthan tamil nadu so then it can be found in the ground water as well in some places so uranium is a correct option okay what are some other elements that act as a water pollutant i'll just name them so mercury cadmium cadmium uh, causes itai itai diseases very famous disease itai itai first was it it was found first in the japan i think or south asian uh, population chromium also copper zinc lead all of these are pollutants so the correct answer is arsenic chloride and uranium 
let us come to the last question quickly to meet its rapidly growing energy demand some opine that india should pursue research and development on thorium as a future fuel of nuclear energy in this context what advantage does thorium hold over uranium so thorium is far more abundant in nature than uranium this is correct as per our knowledge on the basis of per unit mass of mined mineral thorium can generate more energy compared to natural uranium so we already saw that uranium is 0.7% thing in uh, enrichment thorium process produces less harmful waste compared to uranium so let us see about this so this is all simply about the efficiency of the thorium fuel that is used so just a second so thorium is india is also trying to switch to thorium let's say or develop thorium as a primary fuel having largest reserves in the world of thorium so why are we going towards thorium it's more efficient that means the conventional reactors are unable to use more than 1% of the less than 1% of the uranium that is put into them while thorium can be completely used almost completely used more than 90% all right so this is why it gives less waste and produce more energy so it's all about the efficiency so thorium is more efficient than uranium more energy and lesser wastage so let's come to the answer of this question so thorium is far more abundant true it can generate more energy true and it produces less harmful waste true so all of the questions are correct all of the options are correct so this ends our lecture i hope you learned a lot about uh, the nuclear energy and its uh, position in india there is still a lot more to learn which you can uh, either discover yourself or we'll cover in different various lectures as per the current affairs thank you very much this was about today's lecture this is yatharth here signing off you can comment on my lectures what you like what you dislike what are your suggestions and we'll follow them and try to serve you in a better manner thank you very much see you have a good day and be bright